vehicle to warm up. I'm gonna talk to you guys for a little bit. I have a little board back here, which is basically um, just to keep track of what I wanna get done today. I find that having a list and being able to like check off things and you know, it just makes you feel accomplished by the end of the day and it keeps you busy too. If you don't have a list of things to do and you don't have any like anything you really need to do, then you most likely won't get them done. So I like having a list and that's how I get my shit done. Um, today I am going to the gym. Most important things are going to the gym, packing and meal prepping for LA. Um, so that's basically what's happening. Um, I have all my food cooked. I just need to like portion it out and put it into little baggies. Um, I'm keeping it pretty simple as I usually do when I travel. Um, I'm planning on sticking to my macros 110%. I don't plan on going off track at all, even though there's going to be a lot of temptations, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I weighed in at 121 pounds this morning, so still maintaining my weight, which I'm super happy about because the macros that I'm at right now, which are 110 protein, uh, 50 fat, and 150 carb, have been amazing. Like, it's not too much, but it's not too little, so it's like perfect. Like, it just, I don't, I feel hungry sometimes, but I think it's just more like more of me like being thirsty or being bored. It's not actual like real hunger, so when I know it's not real hunger, I don't suffer as much. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically what today's gonna be. I'll show you guys what I'm prepping. Um, maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know what today's gonna be. I just, sometimes I feel like I need to vlog and today's one of those days. So I'm currently at Walmart and I am looking for some last minute stuff as always um, before I travel. I don't know what I'm gonna wear at the expo so I'm gonna buy some of these um, sport bras that they have here because I don't have any that actually fit me as of right now. So. I'm gonna check out what they have here at Walmart. I've never really bought clothes here before. They seem to have some pretty good stuff, so I'm just gonna buy stuff that can kinda like go with my PES leggings. And then I have, um, I need some eyeliner and just some last minute, last minute stuff, nothing too, too crazy. I have basically all the food that I need, so yeah, that's what's happening right now. And I just got done with my cardio and I feel good. So this is me being mega honest. I um, went to video and I literally like, I sat here like this. And then I like moved around and I was like, maybe it's the lighting, you know, but no, like my under eye circles are so bad right now. So I went and put on some makeup. Don't judge me. <laughs> I don't care if you judge me actually, whatever. That's just like real. Like my eye, my under eye circles were so bad. Like I went to sleep at like one. One last night and I woke up at 6 in the morning, I had this dream with like the most amazing idea and like I just had to like get up and tell my mom and like we started like brainstorming and like talking about it. So I've been up since and um, I'm running on like 4 hours of sleep maybe and like the whole past like well this past week has basically been like that so that's probably why my inner circles are so disgusting so if you see me at the LA Fit Expo, don't judge them. <laughs> they're usually bad but right now they're like 10 times worse. So yeah, anyways, getting down to the point. Um, I'm about to start my meal prep. I am gonna basically just get everything together and then I will show you guys what I'm taking with me. Um, I do have a couple videos of me meal prepping and how I usually do it when I travel because um, obviously you don't wanna take up too much space. You wanna keep it as compact as possible. So. Um, I will share my tricks with you guys again because maybe there's some of you that haven't seen my videos um, and kind of show you what kind of foods I'm bringing and like I've said before when I go traveling since I follow macros I basically just kind of like make a meal plan on my fitness pal and then I follow the same meal plan for the, like however long I'm gone so I'm gone from Friday until Monday so I'll be doing that and then I'm going to my friends for a week in Calgary um, after the LA Fit Expo, so I'm basically gonna bring the extras with me. That way, I have food there, and I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna prep it because I'll have a kitchen. But um, I'll bring some food, so I'm not eating her food because that's rude. I don't share my food, so I don't expect other people to share it with me. I'm not quite done with my meal prep yet. I am missing a few things that I have to go and buy, so I need some more chickpeas, and then I think that's actually all I need to buy. But um, I'll show you guys what I have packed so far. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to for meal prepping, but 
I'm digging it. I got some good variety and some yummy stuff. So if you enjoy your food, you will stick to the plan. That's the biggest secret. Not actually, but it's one of the biggest secrets. So like I said, most days look the same except for this one, which will be tomorrow, my traveling day. Um, I usually get oatmeal at Tim Hortons. So I have this for my Tim Hortons oatmeal and my eggs, and then the rest are the meals, and then I'm having a donut tomorrow. So I have that already logged into my macros, and then I have some chicken, yam, chickpeas, and chicken thigh, and then some almonds, cheesecake, protein cheesecake. I got some oatmeal. And, and then I have also planted Arctic Zero every night because I love Arctic Zero and I will definitely be getting some while I'm there because I checked and there's a Whole Foods like literally three minutes away from my hotel. So I'll be stopping at Whole Foods and grabbing some treats. And then um, I also have rice cakes to eat, I believe, and then some peanut butter. So that's basically what I have packed. It's really simple as you can see and I believe that's just how it should be kept um, when you're traveling. You don't want to be carrying a big old bag like full of food even though I kind of am, but it could be a lot worse and it's really nice and compact. You don't have a whole bunch of containers and then like you guys know, I usually take one or two containers and that's how I eat my food. I just basically dump them into the container, I eat it and then it's good to go for the next meal. This is basically what it all ends up looking like. I just put it in big gallon baggies and there's still some protein pancakes and stuff missing, but just giving you guys what my traveling meal prep looks like. And now I'm going to get ready because I have a doctor's appointment and I have to come home and continue packing. I am continuing my meal prep finally. I went to the doctor. Basically, we set my time because I had no reason to actually go. I don't know why they made an appointment for me to go. I thought like there was something wrong with me, but apparently there's nothing wrong with me, so I guess that's a good thing, but I wasted a lot of time, so right now I'm just getting my protein pancakes ready for the next three days on tomorrow. I'm not having any protein pancakes. Like I said, I'm having my eggs and my Tim Hortons oatmeal because that's like a tradition for me when I travel. I always have to have my Tim Hortons oatmeal if it's our morning flight. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just making some protein pancakes and the day is going by pretty fast and I don't have very much stuff done or checked off my list. So it's, I'm freaking out a little bit, but I'm sure I'll get it done. I just like, I wanna make sure that I go to sleep early today because I feel like my eyes are so sunken in from how tired I am and I, yeah, I don't wanna look like shit this week. This is basically what I'm taking. I have the caramel chocolate chip rice cakes and then each one of these, they're all, they all have the same thing, so it's a protein pancake, um, there's a protein cheesecake, some chicken thigh with yam, chicken thigh with chickpeas, and then that's it. They only have four meals, and then I have some nuts, um, some oatmeal that I'll be having with one of these meals, and then some berries as well, and that's basically it. So I've had a beyond hectic day in the sense that I've just had so much stuff to do, and I've kind of forgot to vlog a little bit. I got my packing done, um, meal prepping done. You guys got to see a little bit of that. So I'll probably just incorporate this video into tomorrow's video, which I'll be landing in LA tomorrow. And I'll be meeting the other two. I haven't gotten a chance to film at all this morning because I've been running around like a crazy person. I didn't calculate my time very well so I went and did my cardio I only got 20 minutes in because I was in such a rush been in a rush all morning but I'm all packed up and well hopefully I have everything I need my six pack is stuffed my suitcase is stuffed and I'm only going for four days but um, I'm getting really excited to get there and meet the other PS athletes and we'll just kind of check it out I've never been to the LA Fit Expo before but I've heard amazing things about it so I guess I'll find out for myself this weekend and hope to see some of you there. So my plane landed a little bit late and I missed my second flight to LA so I'll be stuck here at the airport in Calgary for about 8 hours I believe it is. It's a pretty long layover but I have all my food with me and at least I made it to Tim Hortons to grab my oatmeal so that's always a plus. Um, I get to miss out on setting up though which is kind of lame but I wasn't really looking forward to that all that much but I was really looking forward to like meeting all the other athletes and stuff so I'm gonna sit here and eat and then figure out what I'm going to do for the next eight hours because that's a long time to be at such a small airport but what do you do? So it's almost 6 30 which means I'll be boarding my plane soon finally um 
I'm hoping that I can make it to California Donuts tonight because I really want to. It's 24 7, but I'm really tired, so that's the only reason why I think I wouldn't go. But I think I'm gonna make time for it because it's already in my macros, so it has to happen. Um, I basically kept busy by eating, and I bought two books, which I'll show you guys later. Um, and yeah, that's basically what I've been doing the whole day, just sitting around at the airport waiting for my plane to get here so I can finally leave and get to LA and escape this shitty weather. <laughs> We are finally on route to Los Angeles. So I'm finally in LA and um, landed here found out that my suitcase didn't make it so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do tomorrow I have no clothes no makeup no nothing like literally all I have is my food and my laptop so that's not gonna be much help for tomorrow but um Adriana she's gonna save my ass she's such an angel so I'm gonna go get ready with her tomorrow morning and then uh, try to figure out what I'm gonna wear <laughs> because I have no clothes so I might be showing up at a fitness expo in leather boots Y'all can't judge me because I have no other choice, but um, I actually feel pretty calm. Like I would usually be livid right now because it's a pretty big deal. Like you don't just you don't just forget someone's suitcase, especially when they have an event to go to. But um, yeah, I uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do, and I'm just happy to be here. I think that's why I'm so calm. It's because I'm in LA, so I can kind of let it slide. But yeah, I actually cannot believe that I finally made it check this out and it's all to myself like P.S. hugged it up um I don't know what I'm gonna do right now I know the other two people that I am here with are at California Donuts right now with Help Me so I got them to pick me up a donut because I accounted for in my macros today and I want my donut today so I'm gonna have my donut today and then I'm basically just gonna chill out and I don't have a suitcase with anything. <laughs> so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. I look exhausted, I am exhausted. It's been such a long day and I was already running on like zero sleep as it is. Got no sleep on the plane at all. This is so cute, like what is this? But um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill out. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Um, I hope to see some of you there. Have a good night. I'm like overtired and I just need to go to sleep.